Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Siren Red here and you are watching Siren Red Tarot. One second guys, let me turn this down a little bit. So I have three pick a card piles here. Today's pick a card read is gonna be about how is your person feeling about you right now? So we're gonna go ahead and put the stones in the front. It'll give you a minute to choose. Wow, I like some more sage. I do wanna say thank you guys so much for 400 subscribers. That being said, I'm about to get started with this reading. I want to I want to tell you guys that we are literally like a few subscribers away from 450. I just chose a winner. I commented on my last post. I believe her name is Ellie or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. But I commented on her page and I went for her to email me her question. I believe the next video that I post after this, that I'll be having another giveaway because at that point, I'm confident that we'll be at 450 subscribers. Damn, I should not have drunk no wine. This is the last time I drink wine before I do a tarot reading. Because <laughs> now I'm like a little sleepy. Because I don't drink, so I get like a little ditzy. But that's a good thing. I'll be really loose with my words today. All right, with that being said, I'm going to start with pile one. How was your person feeling about you? I think your person where my name at before Christmas term. I think that you, this might be a person that you don't that you haven't really dated before. Oh, I'm sorry guys. Let me get my thoughts together. I feel like this is a person that it's probably something like, the person that you're asking about is definitely unconventional. Mm -hmm. I, I have one glass of wine. I have one glass of wine, y'all. Why am I so nervous? I think that this person, yeah, that's better. I think that this person is nervous about asking you out. Or you might be nervous about asking this out. Asking them, them out. But somebody is nervous about asking someone out. I don't know why though. Something about y'all relationship might be unconventional. Maybe they're a different race. A different religion. From a different background. Different social class. Something. But something is unconventional. Maybe someone's a little bit more. Maybe. Okay. For some of you guys. They already. Like. People might, I'm not saying this is an entanglement, but I am saying it's like, they might be already dating someone at least, at the very least, been dating someone. Some of you guys know damn well that y'all try to mess with somebody who married or whatever. Or maybe you might be married and maybe have a crush on someone. If you do, don't even comment because <laughs> I don't try to get you hung up. This might be a friendship with lifelong friendships. It might be a friend, it might be this, the person you're interested in or the person that's interested in you, but this is about, you know, how they feel about you. Your person, you might have been your friend for a long time, right? They might have watched you come in and out of relationships. You might be dating someone right now or whatever. They might be dancing right now, but they always liked you. So whether you was in a relationship or they was in a, in a relationship entanglement, they always had a thing for you, right? They feel like even when you with somebody, it's like they was always there. Even when people came in the middle of you guys, it's always someone there. So it, it might be like they might be in a relationship sometimes, and then sometimes you're not in a relationship. Yeah, I'm getting more comfortable. I think that's the, the story. I think that you might, it might, might always, like when you're in a relationship, they're still like lingering in the background because they're your friend, right? And then when, when they're in a relationship, you're still always in the back of their heart because you're a friend. Like y'all might not have acknowledged this until like just recently. I feel like I'm seeing people sit on the couch and kind of start looking at each other like, hmm, what if I dated such and such? Some of you guys, this is a friend and y'all never thought about dating this friend before. And y'all was like, now it's like you kind of, for whatever reason, looking at them here and something about quarantine. 
maybe y'all like hung out during quarantine or something are y'all planning to hang out during quarantine and maybe they're gonna ask you to to be more during quarantine or something like that are you gonna ask them but this is like this is not a sneaky link per se this is more so like y'all knew each other magic power learn underrated yeah it's maybe some of y'all friends on before And they're tired of watching you come in and out of toxic relationships. They're tired of watching you, people treat you any kind of way. They're tired of just, they're overall just tired of watching. They're tired of watching you. It's like, they can give you so much. With all those candles in the back and they're just looking back. Like, I would give you, I would literally give you the world if you just allow me to. But it's like, you kind of always looked at them as a friend. But I think that now that's, you're here because you've recently been thinking about them. And you're like, maybe I should take it a step further with them. Whether you're a male or female. Honestly, I think you've been getting this, like, I think you've been getting this, like, nudge. That's like, yeah, you should date them. You should definitely date them. But you wasn't sure. But now you're coming out a little bit more clear. How are Cowboys first of all? Yeah, this is definitely a friend. You might even date one of their family members or dated one of their family members, like a brother or cousin, uncle, something like that. All right, something like that. And maybe that's also why for some of you guys, they haven't came forward. Sometimes I hate y'all for my tarot because I never know if I picked them all up at the same at the time. Yeah, they really have to tell you something. I think they're going to tell you that they like you. I think that maybe if you've been getting, if you had a friend around you like recently and you've been getting like a nudge that your friend want to talk, like you've been getting like some type of uh, a nudge. I'm going to just leave it like that. Y'all know what I'm doing. You know, like some type of nudge that your friends like like you or something like that. I think that you're getting this nudge because they do. It's like, um, you know how you be around somebody so much and you know how they think or whatever. This person also could be your twin flame because I remember with my twin flames. Um, I remember with my twin flame, I used to say stuff and he would finish my sentences before I even said it. Well, I would not say nothing at all. I would think it. I would look at him and I would think it and he would say it. Like, it was, like, on some shit like that. So, y'all might have that type of relationship. So, y'all might be, like, twin flames or some type of soulmate. Yeah, but they're, like, so embarrassed to to uh, to uh confess their love to you. But I feel like you maybe I have two other friends or, like, family members or something like that. And it's, like, they know. It's, like, they know. And they always, like, at telling this person, like, why don't you just tell that person that you like them like they're tired of hearing about it it's like they always talking about oh i, I wish i could date such and such or oh or even these this might not be your friends this could be like their friends or something like that or their family members and they're like why don't you just ask that such such out on date and they're like oh i don't know i don't think that such such would date me but it's like you always near them like your friends but you've never seen them in that light and they're like they shine so bright they would actually be a good match to you but it's like you always like looking for something else but it's like what you're looking for is right in front of your face it's like I, this doesn't make sense because why would you come to this reading? Maybe you came to this reading asking about someone else. Part one, because like I'm asking about the person. How does they feel about you? So this could be like somebody you dated. Well, I guess you know. I guess it's somebody in your energy. And I think you guys want to end up dating. So maybe that's I don't know. Because it's like why would you? Or maybe it is your friend for some people. They have so much to tell you, and they're literally just tired of holding it inside. So. At some point, they might call you or text you or, like, hang out with you, and they're just going to start saying it, and it's not going to stop. They're going to start just telling you, like, why they want to be with you, why, like, literally. Like, they're just going to start, you know, they're going to shoot their shot, basically. They're going to be sneaky about it. It's going to be like when you least expect it. Like, y'all might be working on something together or going somewhere together. And they just going to come to you and be like, yeah, da, 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 da. or they might try to invite you somewhere. Like, oh, come on, come to such and such birthday party with me or whatever. It's just going to be us and we're just going to be chilling, doing friendship. But and really, you want to get there and nobody going to show up. And you're going to be like, where everybody at? I thought this was like such and such birthday party. But really, it was like a date or something. They're going to try to do a sneak, some type of sneak date. That's what I'm seeing for some of you, like some type of sneak dates. I don't know how I feel about sneak dates. It's kind of cute, but then it can be kind of annoying. As well, let me try to get a couple more cards for you. I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to figure out why it's going to somebody who you already know instead of talk about who you're asking about. Because if you knew, you're, if like, why would you be asked about a friend if you know they don't like? If you know they like you, if you don't know that they like you, that's what I'm trying to figure out. 
And now this person keeps doing it's like they just keep telling me that they're going to spill the beans. They're just telling me they're going to come towards you. They're rushing towards you. Your person wants to express that love. And I'm not. And when when, when tarot readers say we're, that somebody's going to profess their love and all that stuff, that could just mean they're going to be like, "Hey, do you want to date?" It could it could be that simple. It's not always like a big spectacle where they like hanging off the balcony, like you and they got a radio outside. Y'all like, "Oh my God, I love you forever." Like it can literally be like, "Yo, I'm gonna just ask. I'm gonna just ask my homie on a date. I'm gonna just be like, "Yo, you want to go bowling?" And then I'm gonna just start treating her like a girlfriend, you know? And I'm just asking to be my girlfriend. It could be that. It could be that simple. You know what I'm saying? Like, or just I'm gonna start texting them more. Or I'm gonna just you know try to actually get to know what they feeling is about you know it could be something as simple as that it don't have to always be like something crazy that's for somebody because a lot of y'all women we are naturally hopeless romantic and sometimes we expect a little bit more and this and we think that just because like you'll overlook something like okay you'll read a tarot you'll watch a tarot reading right and you'll be like oh the tarot reader will be like oh um the person wants to profess their love you'll be expecting roses and like all types of like wild shit and, li and literally the guy would text you and be like, hey, do you want to go out? And that would be what they Tara was talking about. It's not always, like, so complicated. So I got to want you to know that because I don't want you to overlook this. Because some of you might have multiple friends. And you can have a friend that's just asked you out on a dinner. Yeah, it's like this person got the back. Somebody put their batter in their back. For some of you guys, it's y'all family. For some of you guys, y'all family. Y'all been friends for so long. And their fa and your family, in order, in or their family, wants y'all to see, want to try to see y'all if y'all can work together or whatever. Because it's like, why are you always bringing this little boy? Or why are you always bringing this little girl to Thanksgiving dinner if y'all just friends? Like, nobody got time for that shit. That's weird. Like, y'all know y'all like each other. Or at least he likes you. Why don't you give him a shot or something like that? Right? So that, it's like, they've been, they been lighting this flame in this uh, person. Can you see how this candle's in the front? And it's all these candles behind them, like kind of looking like, oh, what you gotta do? Like they've been lighting this frame in, your, in this person's back for a while to say something to you. This is an interesting pile, but I feel like they hijacked my reading. But I think when they do say something to you, you're gonna like it. Some of you guys already knew this, but I think when they come to you, you're gonna like it, and, you, and you're gonna you're gonna accept their offer, and it's gonna make you very happy. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> I didn't I ask for this. We asked about who we talked about. Like, for our part, this is about to supposed to be like crushes and stuff. We gonna get. Yeah, this person's gonna come out of high, and you're gonna see this person in a totally different light. Because they've been thinking about this for a long time. They've been thinking about this for a long time. And they finally about to show you their true colors. I hope y'all ain't see me because I ain't got my wig on. But we're gonna get some advice from the angels. Chakra healing. Call upon the clear and open your, your chakras using sacred geom, ge, geometry shape, geometric shapes. I think that some of you guys been hurt in the past and you kind of put a wall up so like you can't really see anyone else. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're not trying to see love. You're not trying to, to, to you're not even simply not trying to do that. Because you're like, I'm just trying to chill. Like, I don't got time for my relationship, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, spirits ask you to try to um, open your heart chakra or unblock your chakra, your chakras. Because maybe this is why you can't see it, you know. Or maybe this person, like, you asking about this person and it's not your friend. Like, maybe it's somebody you like and you can apply it to a crush. But it's like they really, it's like they've been, they're going to, like, it's like, I don't know. I can't explain how it's your fault, but it's your fault. <laughs> like, it's not your fault, but it's your fault. It's like blocked off. It's like. The thing I'm not understanding, so maybe somebody in the comments could tell me, but the thing I'm not understanding about this reading, the person seems like they already know you, but this could also be a past life connection. You could you could have a question on someone you and you might not know why, and it's because y'all was best friends in a past life. It could be something like that. Like, and y'all could have been the same sex any, or anything. Like, y'all could have just been really best friends in the past life, and you've seen them in this life, and you're like, why am I so attracted to this person? Or is this person attracted to me, and this person is, and they're going to tell you that they are. It could definitely be that, or it could be a real life friend from this 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 lifetime. I don't know. But if something along that lines, but I just think it's strange, because that's not what I asked, but that's what Spirit wanted to tell me. Um, notice your, your real current physical and emotional feelings. Okay, notice how you feel around this person. Spirit says, a clue is how do you feel around this person? Like, do you feel happy around this person? Do you feel sad around this person? I feel a lot of you probably feel really happy around this person. I feel like when you're going through something, you can call them. Ooh, that's hot. You could call this person. You could talk to this person. Like, this person is not just a lover. It's like a homie lover friend. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's hot. Bro. I was trying to put my incense in here. Another incense. But yeah, that's your reading power one. If it resonates, please let me know. I done burnt my fingers. I feel like this is going to be a super hot connection. But you should definitely give them a chance. They seem sweet. They seem really, really sweet and really, really, um, how you say genuine. It's not a lot of genuine sweet people, but they seem really genuine. It's really sweet. So, that was your reading. I hope it resonates. If it did, please let me know. Please comment down below. Please like and share this video with anyone you think it might help. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on so you can be notified next time I post a good video. With that being said, I'm going to move on to pile two. No, pile two is the amethyst, which is my favorite stuff. How did the person feel about you? Somebody may have had an argument or some type of disagreement or you may have had an argument, some type of disagreement or like yeah your person i think that you and your person may have had an argument or some type of disagreement or some type of like y'all having some type of issue i can see that sorry i'm a little distracted but i can see that but your person's not mad like they might be a little bit upset or something. whatever y'all had your argument about they might not they might be upset like you might this might be your husband or your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your wife and you're like oh are they upset with me are they angry and you're like trying to figure out why right you're trying to figure out if they if they, you can go like if they're done being mad about something right but they're not really mad they expect for some of you guys this is a new relationship and y'all expect like y'all used to partners that's like oh if you do something i don't like if you say something i don't like the relationship over like y'all used to that type of toxicity and y'all came back to see like if this person is going to leave you y'all here and see this person going to leave you this person not want to be your boyfriend or girlfriend no more like you don't know what's going to happen because you're used to like toxicity and anger but this person is a little upset with you but they feel like they're lucky to be with you they feel like you're incredible they really like you they, they feel like you're fun and interesting however like they're they expect like this is a this is an emotional mature, mature person Yeah, it's like they feel like you're. They feel like this is a perfect. They, they they really like you, right? However, this is an emotionally mature person. You. This is why you're probably here because you're like, yo, this person is like like no other. I never dated a person like this, so I'm not sure what to expect, right? And maybe this person acts a little different. Like instead of like putting their hands on you or cursing you out, they just leave or or they just say I need space or they tell you oh I need a little space and you think that that means more than oh I need a little space, right? But really, it doesn't. This person is is so um emotionally emotionally mature and so emotionally in tune with their self they know to take time like if they're upset about something that that you did or they did or just anything in relationship they know they're they know to take time they know to um go work it out amongst themselves and i don't think you ever had that before and it's like something new to you and it's like you expecting them to just come back and be like oh i'm i'm ready to leave but they're they're this is a person who's been in a real relationship before and they've learned that relationships real relationships are going to have arguments ups and downs but it's how you handle them right so this person if somebody is angry at you and y'all not talking right now they're just off getting centered they're probably gonna to talk to you by tomorrow it's not gonna be that long however don't take advantage of this spirit let me tell you don't take advantage of this person being emotionally in tune with themselves because they'll get tired as well so make sure you're you, you become more emotionally in tune with yourself and we all do have a discussion again don't forget, don't forget, don't be afraid to admit that sure that what you did wrong don't admit to nothing that you didn't do wrong but if you know you did something wrong just admit to it something about a shower somebody had an argument about a shower i'm seeing some takeout food something like that somebody has like a white couch the couch is like as soon as you walk in the door in the apartment it's like some type of apartment somebody has granted yeah, like what's them island things called it's like it's like living room and it's like this like like a little like wall a miniature wall where you can see from the kitchen inside the living room or something like that i'm seeing that i'm seeing a balcony i'm seeing a fur rug i'm seeing uh, a tv mounted magic and trust okay yeah this person sees this person sees a family with you this person sees like they see, I think this person might be older than you because they see like themselves in you, right? So, so for some of you, this may be a same sex couple. For others of you, it's just like you might have an older girlfriend or boyfriend and they and, and you might have got upset about something. And they remember, they're like, 
I remember when I was that young and I used to get upset about this stuff too, but they're willing to be very patient with you, right? Some of you guys might have a child together or having a child or about to have a child together. I think about having a child together, they might have a child together. The argument could have been about a child. This person also wants you to trust them. They feel like they feel like you trust them, but you don't trust them. They want you to they want you to, to fully to fully just put your trust in them. Like I'm not saying like turn over your life to them, put everything in their hands, but I'm saying like trust that they're not gonna hurt you, trust that they're not like everyone else, or at least give them the benefit of the doubt. Like you know what I'm saying? Like don't count it out before it even starts. Cause they have their their intentions are not bad. Like this person probably in their early thirties to late thirties. Some of you guys are up to forty eight. Yeah, they see you as a, a life partner. They see you as somebody they want to love. They think they're they think you're so beautiful inside and out, right? They need you to stop. If some of them feel like you're running away from the connection. They feel like they're trying to run. They feel like no matter how much work they try to plan or whatever, it's like they you try to run away. It's like every time y'all get in an argument, you feel like they're gonna leave or you try to leave, something like that. They like you. Some of them even love you, but they're not gonna keep you here. They're not interested in forcing you to stay if you don't want to stay. But I don't think that you want to leave. I think that you just scared a little bit. I understand that feeling. But I'm going to tell you something. Don't lose the love of your life being scared of what somebody did to you in the past. I think about I think about my twin every single day. I didn't know that, I, but I was the runner at first. And then he became the runner. And then, you know, we tried to heal. I don't know if I should tell my twin flame story. Like, you know, drop a smiley face if y'all think I should tell my twin flame story. Because I be always referring to it, but I never sat down and told. So I might kind of do that this weekend. Upload a, after I upload a pick a card, tell my twin flame story. Because, you know, that's how I got into tarot. But I think that... Um, and I don't even use traditional tarot cards at all. Like, so. But what I'm saying is, um, I like oracle cards anyway better. Oracle affirmations. Um, yeah, this person's very thankful. They want to shower you in happiness. They want to shower you in love. But they understand that you guys are both human. They understand that you're human. They understand that they're human. Right? And that's why I say, like, somebody probably, um, I'm not saying this is a twin flame dynamic. This could just be, like, you know, somebody, like, running from their hurt instead of dealing with it. Right? That could easily happen. But they're not going to chase you. No. If you're not ready, then you're just not ready. They might. But this, this has potential. I think this is going to be a good relationship. I don't know if they the one, though. I don't know. I don't like to speak on that. And the reason why I don't really like to speak on that is because I believe that we can have multiple the ones. I don't think that it's, it's just the one. I feel like it's multiple the ones. And if it doesn't work out with one of the ones, then we go to one of our other the ones. You know? Because something could be wrong. You know, again, going back to my story with my twin flame, when I went to my, when I found a psychic, well, she, well, yeah, when I was guided to my psychic advisor, she told me, she was like, this is the person you're supposed to marry, but sometimes when someone is too negative, they'll send you someone else. God will send you someone else. So I'm not saying that this is not the one, because he, this is, he, he or she has, they don't have bad intentions, but you just might not be ready. So because you're not ready, you might have to go live your life a little bit more and just wait until somebody else comes in, you know, or just live until someone else comes in and they might find someone else. Because it, it seems like one of you guys is not ready. And I really feel like it's you, because this person seems ready. Like, it's like they got, it's like they got upset about something, but now you feel like they're going to leave you. They need you to, even though this says nature, they need you to mature a little bit. They wish you were a little bit mature, a little bit closer to their age. It's not that they don't like you. They like you, but they just feel like you're a little bit like, I don't understand. This person might like the nature. They might like the, you know, like affection. They might bring you flowers. They might think you smell like flowers. Some of you guys might be like vegans or like really just really healthy people in ge in general. They might make you laugh. You might make them laugh. They feel like you're cold though, but I guess you're a robot. They feel like you're cold. We are really cold towards them sometimes. 
and they don't really know why. I think they kind of know, but they really don't. Because it's like, why is this person always think I'm going to leave? Why are they so cold to me? Like, why don't open up? For some of you guys, you're only been dating for six months. For some of you guys, only three, somewhere around that. But I just feel like they probably, because the way I'm getting is, I'm, I'm getting like an like a emptiness, like how I feel. Anything else? Yeah, and they might, sometimes they think that maybe it's because you got other options, but I don't think it has nothing to do with it. I don't even know. I think that you're so wrapped up in your own pain that you don't know if you like this person, right? It's like you do sometimes, but then sometimes you kind of like, I just want to heal, right? But y'all need to sit down and talk about it. Seriously, y'all need to sit down and talk about it. They're going to come back to you and y'all going to talk this out. I'm going to talk about the situation and what happened because the interview, the, um, whatever y'all argument was about was really small. I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna get you some angel advice. Yeah, because it's nothing really, it's just telling me good things are coming. They're gonna come talk to you about it. When you least expect it, they're gonna just come talk to you about it. Perseverance, like if you stick with this person, like if you stick out this out, that's gonna come to a it's gonna it's gonna lead to something really good, right? A good relationship. And that, ask your angels for help. Like, some of you guys might be tarot readers or spiritual. Or some of you guys might be connected with your guides. I don't know why I got so excited. But some of you, some of you guys is, like, really connected with your guides and your ancestors. And they're like, yo, why didn't you just ask me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or, like, you talk to them all the time. They said, why don't you ask me that? I wish I was connected to my ancestors. Like, I can hear them, but I can't, like, I can't go and tap in a, and have a conversation with them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I heard that some people can actually meditate and just go see them and stuff like that. I don't even know if I'm ready for that. I don't even know if I'm ready to open myself that spiritual because I feel like my spiritual abilities and, you know, man, God knows. <laughs> God knows that I see. I don't know. I don't know how much spirituality I'm, I'm ready for. I'll tell y'all when I tell my twin flame story. Y'all ain't gonna believe me though, but it's crazy. Yeah, everything is happening for a reason, but this relationship must be balanced. So if you're not ready for it, it's not fair for you to stay here. You gotta let this person go, even though this person is good. So you gotta make a decision. How they feel about you is they want you to make a decision and they wanna make a decision. They wanna balance the scales and have an equal give and take. So if they communicate, they would like you to communicate. You know what I'm saying? If they show you love, they would like you to show them love. So you gotta figure out what you want. Either you have to try to heal within this relationship or you have to leave this relationship heal and you know maybe they'll be around when you come back maybe they won't maybe you'll meet someone else but at the end of the day like you can't like this person not mad because they none, they understand like in relationships just going to be ups and downs however like they would like someone who's trying to at least meet them halfway but sometimes we're not ready and if you're not ready that's okay but you can't string people along so much as we get for power too. This was a deep one today. It was just like, oh, I want to have sex. Da, 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 da. I gotta get some sexual cards too. Peace. This, this, I think that I think that this relationship is peace. This love is real. This relationship is like good. You know what I'm saying? But you're not used to peace. And for real, for real, I don't blame you because it's not a lot of relationships out here that's peace. Like it's really hard nowadays to really connect with people. Like you know what I'm saying? Like really connect. For those of us who still care about collecting connecting especially if you watch this channel you probably really spiritual and really when really with, with, with us really spiritual people it's hard to connect and now that you found someone that you connect with it kind of scares you a little bit because it's like i don't want to connect with somebody and then lose them you know what i'm saying because i'm i'm scared i might not find that connection again or like i just i don't want to get my heart broke they could be fake and you thinking so much stuff but like it's really not that you just gotta you know let things play out don't overthink stuff so much just let it play out how it's supposed to play out but that was your reading power uh, too. I hope it resonates. I really hope things get better. Like it's not, nothing is really wrong. Like someone might have happened, but they're still willing to work on it. But they but they want you to help them work on it. Like y'all have to work together on this situation. They That's how they feel. And they want to work. They want you to work together with them. Like, so that can turn either way. It can turn into a relationship and that can turn into a breakup. But it's really based on you for real. Because they don't even know if you fucking like them like that. Like, for real, like, they're not even sure. Like, they know you like them, but they don't know, like, if you like them, like them. Like, if, that's, if that makes sense. They, like, they don't they don't feel like they have your emotions. They feel like you just, your, they have your body. You know what I'm saying? But they don't feel like they have your emotions. Okay, pal, two dollars read. I hope it resonated. Please share this video with anyone you think it might help. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. Like, share, like, like, you know, hit the like button. Turn my post notifications on so you can be notified every time I post a video. And I'll see you guys in my next video, in my next uh, pick card. 
I gotta get right. I gotta get better at doing the subscribe. You know, selling myself. You know, I'm learning though. Like, but you know, this is me. How's your person feeling about you? Your person wants to hold you. Somebody's really proud of you. They see your abundance of your abilities and talents. They feel like you're you're doing really good. You might be doing really good at work. You might be doing really good at um. I'm just thinking of a comment I seen earlier about somebody saying their boyfriend was an artist or something like that. I think this person is really proud of you. You might be an artist. This might be this might resonate with the person who said that or something like that. I don't know why I just thought of them. But like they're really proud of you. They're really proud of your art. They want to show you off. They want to tell everyone about you. Like they're they're really proud of you. They like your confidence. Yeah. They might be telling their neighbors about you. They can't believe they got such a dime. They happy. Y'all might not, for some of you guys, this was a, after a first date. For some of you guys, you just started dating this person. For others of you guys, this is like a, a boyfriend or girlfriend. But it's somewhere along those lines. Somebody told their mother about you. <laughs> Somebody told their mother about you. That is big. Another Patel. Pause, pause, please, person for yeah, see, and y'all see these cards come out. That's what's crazy because it just really come out. Like this person is really proud of you. They're proud of all your accomplishments. It's like you meet everything on a checklist. It's like they was asking Santa. Not that they only asked Santa, but that's what I'm. You know, it's like they they was asking God for for something, and it's like God gave them exactly what they wanted. <sighs> thinking about watching i gotta stop thinking about him right now i remember he told me he was like he was like i couldn't ask god for a better woman like it's like yeah i'm gonna give you exactly what i asked for so it's like it's like it's like that type of energy it's like the person is like i can't like you know i couldn't ask for better it's like the body the eyes the personality like everything what i could possibly want that person has like we know no one's perfect but you're perfect for them Yeah, they're telling everybody about you. Gossiping. They're going to tie you down soon. Or try to tie you down. <laughs> so you guys might not want to be tied down, but they're trying to string you in. They're trying to take you from all these options you got. They're trying to pull you away from all these options you got around you. Or what are options they think you got? Because you're probably not even doing that. But you know how, if you're a woman, you know how guys are. They always think we got a whole bunch of options. Even if we, even if we do, like they think we paying them any money. We is not paying them no damn mind. Yeah, they feel like they have a ball with you. Like they feel like you might be a little bit shorter than them, or they could be, or or they could be a little bit shorter than you. But it's like a height difference, right? And it's like you always be having them cracking up, like or they be having you cracking up. Like y'all, it's always laughing, and giggles. Like y'all have good conversations. Somebody scared of clowns. Yeah, it's like you make them not want to go out with the cloud anymore. They trust you. They trust that if it's just you and they trust that, that if it's just you and them, like it'll be just you and them. For other of you, this person may have been dating other people, but they're leaving them other people to come just date you like solely and they're hoping you do the same. Or they feel like you were dating other people and they're hoping that when they tell you that, oh, I like you so much that you'll leave others behind. Something like that. Or they're just leaving around, leaving behind a dating scene altogether, like going out with multiple people. Some of those lines. Yeah, they think that you don't feel like you're perfect. They feel like you're always trying to fix yourself. You're trying to like, oh, I got to work out. Oh, I got to wear makeup. Oh, I got to get an outfit. Oh, I got to move in my career. Oh, I got to do my hair. I got to do this. I got to do that. Like, you're always like, oh, I got to fix this. I got to fix that. I fix this. But they feel like you're so perfect. So they're like, what are you trying to fix? Like, you're so perfect, like, to me, right? It's not that you hate yourself, but it's like you're all, like, some of you guys do have low self-esteem, but the other, like, majority of you is just like, you're so like you might, I hear I'm getting like Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. It's like you're very, um, not not to not that you're independent. It's like you're very, you're you're all about self, um, self development. Like you always feel like you could be better, even if you could be the most perfect. You could be made out of gold, and you'll still feel like, oh yeah, but I need to be made out of diamonds. Like you get what I'm saying? It's like you always try to improve yourself, a constant improvement. That's another reason why they like you so much. Cause it's like a lot of people don't strive to improve, but you you strive to improve even when you don't need to. Yeah, this person wants to be the number one person in their life. They only want you to see one outside. They want to make you so happy that you can't even see another guy. 
or girl. I always say guys and girls, but you know, it could be the poor. Oh, another thing while I'm saying is, listen, if something doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. I'm, as a tarot reader, I done clicked on stuff and they done talk, they done been talking, right? And what they said had nothing to do with me. Because sometimes you just don't resonate. It's not picking up your energy. Or that it could be one, literally one sentence in the in their reading that resonates with you. Or one sentence that you were meant to hear. But it has, but the reading itself doesn't resonate with you. So I don't need you to, in my comments, be like, oh, this doesn't resonate with me. Da, da, da. Pick another pile or go to a different reading. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't try to apply it if it don't fit but I, I mean everything's not gonna resonate i could have been i could have been like how i'm doing now how i'm going off on like you know talking about another topic during a reading i could have been i you know i could have been doing that and something i'm saying and me going off could be for you and that's why you clicked on the reading sometimes it's not always what the reading is actually about if that makes sense anyway like i was saying like yeah this person feels like you're a, you're a gift you're a gift and they can't un, they can't un, they can't wait to unwrap this relationship with you they can't un, wait to unwrap this journey with you this person really likes you let's get some angel tarot they really like you this is cute but it's like a cute innocent energy though it's not like it's not like um it's not like power one where power one was like a deep love like they've been like that person this is like a this is like a this is like a oh my god like i think she's the one this is like a or i think he's the one this is a this is a a strong i think but right? you know what i'm saying like a, this is like a cutesy innocent type like shit like you know what i'm saying like they not trying to use you for sex they not trying like you know they not they not trying to marry you tomorrow but they trying to see if they can get to marry you you know what i'm saying like they trying to see if they can get to be in a relationship yeah notice how you feel about around this person and notice how this person feels about you and that will let you know who this who this is or like how they feel like just notice how you feel about them for some of you guys, for one of you guys, this person is toxic and you know it. That's why you don't like them. Even though they like you so much. For everybody else, though, it's not. He's just, they just excited. Yeah. Take action and bring your idea to fruition. So this person is going to come and talk to you. If this is a, is if, it, if this is a female and you know that the female is not, is there a guy watching this about a female? This girl is not, they, Spirit will tell you, like, this girl is not going to come to you and be like, oh, can we, can we hook up? Oh, can we go on a date? Like, this girl is old fashioned. You need to come to her because she's going to be, she's, she's going to feel like if she comes to you, that she's looking desperate. So, Spirit wants you, that's for, this is for a male. He wants you to, they want, they want you to shoot their shot. Somebody got some strong ancestors and this is a shot and they want you to shoot it. <laughs> so they're asking you to shoot they shot let me get some advice from my females my females is is really just see how you feel around this person but let me see if i can get something else crystal clear intentions yeah pay attention to this um this person's intentions this person's intentions are really good though it's gonna lead to prosperity but they want you to pay attention to this, to this person's intentions they want you to stay stay um stay like how do I say, like, if you have something in mind, like, you're like, okay, I'm not having kids until I get married. Stay with that. Don't bend or bond for this person because it's going, because now they like you. You got them on the ropes. You got them on the ropes, sis. But you need to stay, you need to stay true to yourself. And that's what's going to attract them more. Because soon, now that I told you that, you, that they like you, they're going to start showing it. And you don't need to, like, okay, this person really likes me. So let me settle for this. Or, okay, this person really likes me. Now let me do this, this, and that. No, you need to stay the, um, the state of course. So if you said you don't want to have kids, you don't get to get married and don't have kids till you get married if you say that you don't want to have sex till you get married then don't have sex till you get married like whatever you you um whatever your standards were stay to that stay to that course but yeah that was your reading pile three and i hope it resonated don't forget to share the video with anyone you think it might help hit that subscribe button turn your post notifications on so you can be notified every time i post a video and i am a couple subscribers away before i give away another free reading so you don't want to miss that with that being said i will see you guys tomorrow and you guys have a blessed night